What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to these NFL season predictions. Here today with a new division, the NFC West and the Los Angeles Rams. Now, the Rams, obviously, two years ago, they were in the Super Bowl. Last year, they were expected to come in once, be, once again, <laughs> be major Super Bowl contenders. They disappointed, went 9-7. and seven. They lost a lot of pieces over the offseason. Dante Fowler, Todd Gurley, Corey Littleton. Um, just to name a few, this Rams team doesn't look the same, but how do I think they will do this year? Let's get started. Week one, you host the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday Night Football. This is a very big toss-up game I'm actually going to give to Dallas. Um, I think he'll be close, and I do think that you can maybe win. But I'm going to favor Dallas solely based off the fact that I trust their own line more and I trust their defense more. Week two, you go to Philly. I'm going to give the Eagles a win here. Um, you know, you really, I think, are going to start off bad. And, you know, the Eagles seem to always start off, you know, a little good with the exception of maybe last year. Um, but... I do think that the Eagles will win this game. Week 3 at the Bills. I'm going to give the Bills a win here. Better defense. Um, we'll probably attack that offense. And I don't know if your, your defense should be able to tame Buffalo's offense. I think it'll be a defensive battle that I do think Buffalo will win. Week 4, you host the Giants. Here's where you get your first win of the season. The Giants, you know... I think Saquon Barkley will no doubt carry them this game. Could he maybe carry them to a win? Yes, but I'm going to trust the Rams in this one. Week 5, another game I'm going to trust them in to win at the um, Washington football team. You can really tell that, you know, the Redskins, they aren't a good team. And... With maybe Alex Smith starting, okay, maybe, but I'm not going to really, um, you know, believe in them quite yet, even if Alex Smith starts. Week 6 at the 49ers, I'm giving the 49ers a win here on Sunday Night Football in Santa Clara. A great defense will probably be another defense battle that I think you will lose. Week 7, you host the Chicago Bears. I'm going to give you a win here on Monday Night Football in L.A., if it was in Chicago, okay, I'd give the Bears a win. But I'm going to give you a win here. I think another one of those defensive games that gonna is going to come down to which defense will perform better. I do think that the Rams defense should perform better in this game. Week 8, you go to Miami to play the Dolphins. I'm going to give you the win there. Dolphins still kind of an ad team. Could make a little bit of noise, but still kind of eh. Week 10, um, you host the um, Seattle Seahawks. I'm going to give you a win here. You always seem to, every year, get Seattle in one game. I think you'll get them this year in one game. Um, week 11 at the Bucks, a very toss-up game. That I'm actually going to, you know what? I'll give the Bucks here. Um, I think that the Bucks should, you know, kind of be a little gel together at this point in time. Um, week 12, you host the 49ers. I'm gonna give the 49ers a win here. Um, in Santa, um, excuse me, even in LA. I think the 49ers can win. Week 13, you go to Arizona. I'm going to give Arizona a win here. Um, young offense, young team. I think that they should get you there. Week 14, I'm going to give New England a win here. Um, I do think that New England w should be an up and down team. They will no doubt be as good as they were in previous years, but... They'll still get a few, you know, good wins, and I think this will be one of them. Week 15, you host the Jets, I'm going to give you a win here. 
it's the New York Jets, and hey, you're trying to keep that maybe that little slim hope of playoffs you might have. Week 16, you go to Seattle, they'll get you here. Um, you always seem to split with um, Seattle. I think that you will again. Week 17, you host the Cardinals. I think that you will run their playoff chances and finish the year off at seven and nine. Um, y'all are use this as a retooling year to me. Use this as a retooling year. Don't really, you know, waste time. Use this as a year to retool. And then maybe in 2021, get back in the mix. But that is going to do it. I'll be back tomorrow with um, the Arizona Cardinals. Until next time, peace out.